Session 18 of Industrial Relations and Labor Legislation of 6th Semester BB of Mangalore University. In this session, we shall study Standing Orders, Code of Industrial Discipline, Grievance Procedure, Collective Bargaining, and Suggestion Scheme. Standing Orders Majority of the industrial disputes are related to conditions of employment. The very purpose of Standing Orders in the organization is to regulate industrial relation. To prevent industrial disputes relating to employment conditions, Standing Orders are formulated. The term Standing Order refers to the rules and regulations which govern the conditions of employment of workers. These standing orders are binding on the employer and employee. They specify the duties and responsibility of both employers and employees. Through standing orders, the conditions of employment regularized paving the way for industrial peace and harmony. The Industrial Employment Standing Orders Act of 1946 provides framing of standing orders in all industrial undertakings employing 100 or more workers. As per the provisions of the Act, employers have to formulate standing orders in consultation with workers and submit to a certifying officer. The matters to be highlighted therein are classification of employees, hours of work, holidays, pay days, wage rates, shift to working, attendance and late coming, leave rules, temporary stoppage of work, termination, suspension, disciplinary action, etc. Code of Industrial Discipline Over the years, several legislative measures have been adopted in India to promote discipline and harmony between employees and employers. The second five-year plan has suggested that both employees and employers must formulate and abide by voluntary code of discipline. In pursuance of this suggestion, the 15th Indian Labour Conference suggested a Code of Discipline in 1957. The Central National Labour Organizations and Employers Association have agreed to enforce the Code of Effect from June 1, 1958. The Code aims at preventing disputes by providing voluntary and mutual settlement of disputes through negotiations without the interference of any outside agency. According to the Code of Discipline, both employees and employers voluntarily agree to maintain and create an atmosphere of mutual trust and cooperation in the industry. Grievance A grievance is a formal complaint that is raised by an employee towards an employer in the workplace. There are many reasons as to why a grievance can be raised and also many ways to go about dealing with such a scenario. Reasons for Filing a grievance in the workplace can be as a result but not limited to breach of terms and conditions of employment, raises and promotions, harassment and employment discrimination. Grievance Procedure it is a method of resolving disputes. 
all labor agreements contain some form of grievance procedure and if the procedure is followed strictly any dispute can easily be resolved model grievance procedure suggested by the national commission on labor has provided for the successive time bound steps each leading to the next in case of last lack of satisfaction steps in the grievance procedure at the outset an aggrieved worker shall approach the foreman and inform his grievance orally and seeks the redressal of his grievance if it is not redressed to his satisfaction then he approaches the supervisor who has to give reply to the complaint worker within 48 hours if the decision or the answer is not acceptable to the worker or if the superior does not give an answer the worker can go to the next step at the third stage the worker can either in person or accompanied by the departmental representative approach the head of the department who has to give an answer before the expiry of 3 days if the department head fails to do so or if the decision given by him is not acceptable to the worker then the worker can resort to the grievance committee which comprises of the representatives of employers and employees this committee shall communicate its recommendations to the manager within 7 days of the grievance reaching it if there are unanimous decisions these shall be implemented by the management in case unanimous decisions have not been arrived at the views of the members of the committee shall be recorded and all the relevant records shall be placed before the manager for decision the manager shall communicate his decision 3 days within 3 days the worker has got a right to appeal against the manager's decision these appeals shall be decided within a week if the aggrieved desires he can take along with him a union official for discussion with the authority in case a decision has not arrived at at this stage the union and management may refer the grievance to the voluntary arbitration within a week of receipt of the management's decision by the worker so these are the steps to be followed in the grievance procedure so starting from oral information if it doesn't get the answer at any stage then finally it reaches to the voluntary arbitration collective bargaining collective bargaining brings the employer and the employees around one table to discuss and settle many contentious issues effectively it is a method by which trade unions protect and improve the condition of their members working lives collective bargaining brings the employer and employees around one table to discuss and settle many issues it enables both the parties to know each other and their views and to define their rights obligations regarding the terms of employment working conditions through negotiation discussions and bargains finally suggestion scheme suggestion schemes are important means of associating workers with efforts to increase the productivity and competitiveness of the enterprise by improving the quality of its products and services rationalizing its work processes raising standards of occupational safety health working conditions and in general contributing to better communication and labor management relations they can be used for motivating employees to express their views and ideas so suggestions can be given by the 
employees to the employers so the ideas and the creativity can be applied their experience knowledge for the benefit of the enterprise and their own good it may also increase their sense of involvement in the activity of the enterprise so workers feel that they are also considered in the decision making aspect Although suggestions cover a wide variety of subjects most of them aim to resolve work related problems in the particular workplace these problems may be either technical in nature or administrative in nature references